Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're here with Melissa. Doesn't need too much of an introduction. Oh my gosh, hi, I'm excited. <laughs> we already know that you all know who she is. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here with her. So we're here in New York for yeah. Scent Explore and I wanted to make sure to do a video with you. Mm. She hasn't been on my channel yet and I love your videos. I watch Aww. all of your shorts, they always pop up and I always laugh, every single time I laugh. I love your humor. I think I kind of know what she likes, dislikes and fragrances, so we're gonna introduce her to what I like and we're gonna see what you think. So, all right. honesty, 100%. If you absolutely always. hate it, you're repulsed by it, you can tell me, it's okay. I will. You might I will. hurt my feelings a little, but yeah? <laughs> okay. I won't okay. show it. <laughs> Tell me after which one hurts your feelings the most. Okay. okay? okay. All right. This is totally oh blind, by the way, guys. Oh, you okay. don't have to cover your eyes. <laughs> so she has no idea what she's smelling. Once again, I'm not going to say shit. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. So the first one I want her to smell, I'm making it the first one because I want you to have like the most clear nose. Okay. Like, uh, I don't want you to get muddled by the other stuff before you smell oh. this one. Let's see. On a man, all these on a man. Okay. That smells fruity. On a guy. On a guy. Definitely different. That's yeah. what I'm gonna say. Typically because when I'm around guys, they don't smell fruity. Mm -hmm. They smell like Sauvage and Blue de Chanel. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like right off the bat, definitely unique mm -hmm. in that sense. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's just like a like a like a fruity sweet scent. That's what I'm getting. Is it mango? No, it's peach. Oh, it's peach. Yeah. I do like peach. Solid. Am I rating it one through ten? One to ten. One to ten. On a guy? On a man. I'll go six. Six, all right. I'll go six Mid. on it. <laughs> Mid, yeah. What am I allowed to know what it is afterwards? Yeah, yeah. So this is Via Cabor One by Zerjoff. Oh, Zerjoff right So uh yeah. Um Ooh. this is my <laughs> my number one perfume for a man. Yeah. Ever. I talk about it on my channel all the time. Okay. And okay. it is, it's very different, very unique, unexpected for a man to wear something like this, but for it sure. just works. I smell this on a man a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, oh my God. Like eyes rolling it. back, it's so freaking sexy in the air. It's peach, white chocolate. It's a lot of patchouli. Okay, And like musky, patchouli. cashmere. Yeah. But six, so my feelings are already hurt. Oh no, <laughs> you know what the thing with me and patchouli is, it's never like. Love, yeah. It's never been like a hard love. With no, that, we no, all got our taste, you know. Yeah, it's very subjective. You always have to sample things. It really is. All right, let's see this. Number two. The nails are killing it too. She's got the always matching. She's got the ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I would, I would like this one better if I smelled it on a guy. It has more of like a classy badassness to it. Yeah, like a leather sure. jacket sort of feel, like for a New sure. York feel. Uh -huh. Guess where we are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting like a like an acidic fruitiness to it. Something like that, yeah. Is there like a saffron? I'm not sure. Or no, there's definitely leather in this though, right? I'm smelling leather or suede popping up. I think so. It's it's something with the, it's very floral. floral. It's like, a, to me that fragrance is very, it has these like vintage kind of florals, vintage touches, but very mm. modern. I'm getting leather. Maybe. I would give this one like, maybe like a, like a 6.87. All right. Slowly We're going up. Moving. We're increasing, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna need like 50 if we're going up by point three no, intervals. No. Watch the next one be like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Watch it, watch it. So that one was the new Gucci Guilty Elixir. That's Elixir? Yeah. Gucci Guilty? Yeah. I did not expect that. That, you know what? That kind of smells niche, in exactly. my opinion. I can't lie. Like, I thought that was a niche fragrance. I'm pleasantly mm -hmm. surprised. I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, that's another one that like, in the air, it's just like, it is. Yeah. It's very masculine, very bad boy yeah. leather jacket. Yeah. Like fashionable at the same time though. Not just like straight up with rugged. Mm -hmm. All right. And I know I'm looking in her direction, but I can't read what's on the thing. I don't even think it's yeah, but, labeled. It's just as bad as eyesight as me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like squinting. My handwriting's so bad anyway. <laughs> mm. No lie, this to me smelled feminine off the bat, but I think anybody can kind of pull this one off. Mm -hmm. This one I like more than the other two. It's not as in your face, it's more intimate. It's subtle, yeah. This is a very sexy, like, third like date this. type of scent. Yeah, you know this is mean? very, like, shoulder to yeah, shoulder. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like this. I feel like I've smelled this before. You, pro you probably have. <laughs> have I? When it's the name possible. pops up, I'm gonna be like, I like it. It's good, it's very good. It's a great, yeah. very affordable scent. I'm gonna give this, what? I, like, I swear I know this <laughs> fragrance. I'm gonna give this an eight. Because like initially, 
It's yeah. like something that you're gonna like off the bat. Yeah. Like she just sprayed this and like. It's something that it's, I think it's pretty old. So it's kind of like, you know it, but yeah. I don't think people really talk about it that much. I just, re of course, I'm so late to the game with everything. <laughs> but I just too. smelled this for the first time like two weeks ago. So, yeah. so what's your rating? I'm gonna give this like an eight. An eight? All right. Yeah. So that means she really likes it. <laughs> this, yeah, this one, we're, I'm telling you, we're climbing. We're climbing yeah, right now. So this is Givenchy Pie. No yeah. wonder! I, I was Just like, like this is so familiar. Yeah. Pie, and by the way, I like the dry down way more than like the opening of it, but mm -hmm. that one is just like, people fall in love with yeah, that scent so it's easy. it's so sexy. It really is. Classic. I gotta re-throw that fragrance back on again. Yeah, seriously. It's fire. People need to know. Yeah, I got mine for like 40 bucks. Me too! You Did you? <laughs> See, like it's a it's, good price. Yeah. All right. Rolling with pie. <laughs> you do know my taste now. Crazy. I don't like this one as much as pie. Ah. <laughs> just off, just off initial reaction. But mm -hmm. let me let me try to picture the type of guy I see it on. Definitely a niche head, for sure. <laughs> I don't see this on like your average guy kind of walking down. No, definitely not. Yeah, I mean, I think it has like a, a luxurious sort of feel to it, but I'm not like nuts about it. I'd give this one maybe like. It might come around. Though. Yeah. Maybe, though. Like, Gotta maybe. wait for the dry down of this one. Because this like, mm -hmm. I feel like this would be something good. Like if I smelled it on the scent trail, right? Mm -hmm. I would definitely kind of like turn my head and be like, okay, that's something a little bit different. But I'm not in love with it. Like it's like, okay, like it's there. But it's, I, would, I give it like you know, five and a half. What is it? <laughs> what is it? So that one is Tobacco Royale by Precious Liquid. Yeah, see that one? Listen. You have to like, tobacco like sweet heavy spicy tobacco and not mm. not everyone tobacco is not everyone's jam yeah the thing is that scent and i think amber suede from precious liquid i was never able to rock with i just i couldn't i couldn't really get as into it mm -hmm. as like the other ones because i'm more of like a fresh fragrance girl yeah. but pie is pie is fire yeah. so that's why i said at the beginning that i feel like i know your taste a little bit yeah I got basically the opposite of everything Is it really <laughs> because i'm a big like heavy gourmand like mm. darker kind of scent girl yeah so yes we're gonna challenge you and i'm just laughing nice. because i know what what the rest are yeah okay <laughs> and i'm giving you this one right after you said i like fresh and <laughs> i want to see salt and pepper type of scent salt and yeah. pepper is bomb by the way it is right, you put me on to that thank did you did i yes Nice. Okay. I also bought, and like I just said, I'm late to the game for okay. everything. I just bought La Nuit de Lon because of you. Isn't the that one so sexy? It. It's so freaking it's good. So <laughs> I'm telling you, like people online are gonna hate on the designer stuff, but that doesn't correlate to real life. I swear to you. This one's, in my in my opinion, kind of a forgettable sort of scent. Yeah. Everyone yeah. that I show this one to, sometimes it's like, wow, I love it, and the other people are like, I could live without it. Yeah, there's like a smokiness that yeah. I'm getting in like the background of it. I'm Pink not as like, nose. yeah, I'm not as into like smoky fragrances. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this like, maybe like a four. I, I, I would smell this on somebody that like, if you like smoking cigarettes and you're like, what's a good fragrance that I can have to kind of somehow smell like a little, you know, a little good, like a little different, then I would suggest <laughs> something like this if you're a smoker. In a great way, in a great way. There's a lot of people that like cigarettes, you know? All inclusive over here. Yeah, I'd give this like a four and a half. All right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I like it because it's kind of like a more masculine by the fireplace. Mm. It has the same kind of like marshmallowy sweetness, but it is very smoky. I think it's very sexy, a little nutty too. Mm. So that one is Pache de Cartier Noir Absolute or Absolute Noir. Mm. Noir Absolute. I love by the fireplace is the thing. I think that thing is unique <laughs> off the bat. Yeah, this one reminded me of like, I was walking, I was in the subway yesterday. You know what I mean? There's a lot of that cigarette sort of smell, but still we rock with it. It's all good, like it's, it. all it's all good. good. It's all love. We can agree to disagree. Yeah. Have we agreed on one fragrance so far, Pi? <laughs> <laughs> or like, yeah. we've done, we've got one. How many have we done, like five? What would you rate La Nuit de Lone? One through 10. Uh, 12. Easy. Oh, toilet. Perfect. What part is very good too. I'm gonna buy mm. that one next. This is this is better. This is nice. This is likable. Yes, like if you yes. if you go and you hug somebody with this fragrance, they'll be like, oh my god, like that smells good. You know what I mean? I think women would like this. I'm gonna give this like a solid, like a 7.8, like an eight. In that in that general vicinity, I feel like the dry down would be even better. I'm going I'm going like 7.8 on this. Eight. It's a good rating. Yeah. What is it? So this one. Pago Roban, it's a freaking tongue twister, guys. Invictus Victory Elixir. 
That's the Victory Elixir? No yeah. wonder it had the familiar scent to it. Yeah. Watch everyone watching this is like, oh, she's the designer nose, fuck her. <laughs> Thing is, I love niche too, but like, I like the more, like the likable niche fragrances that your everyday yeah, person is. Yeah, not so challenging. Yeah. Exactly. Just higher quality. Let me lean back for this. You know what? Initially off the bat, I wasn't rocking with it on first sniff, but right now I'm coming around to it. Is that, is that like a, like a cherry? Yeah, something like a cherry? Something like that, yeah. Something that could very easily be perceived as a cherry. This is giving me the bad boy vibes. Kind of yes. like the second one that we tried, but not as leathery. This is a heartbreaker. Is a heartbreaker? <laughs> like I would give this, like if you fit that bad boy persona, I think that this would be like a nine on you. But like into my nose right now, I'm still gonna give it like like a seven, maybe like a like a six point eight to be honest. Okay, that one hurt too. <laughs> what is it, Erica? Now you gotta tell me. <laughs> Haltane by Parfum de Marly. But here's the thing, right? I talked about Haltane on my channel, and people were pissed because they were just like, "How do you not love this fragrance?" I like the dry down a lot better than the opening. I will say there is a sort of likability to it in a unique way that I think if you wore it around people, they'd be like, oh yeah, that's that's pretty good. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's solid. Because nine times out of 10 with any fragrance, the magic is in the air. It's not mm -hmm. on, definitely not on paper, but mm -hmm. it's from more like far away, you know? Is that, what would you say your favorite masculine Parfums de Marly scent is? This one. Really? <laughs> I'm a car lab. Actually, you know what, Percival, I, I love Percival. I knew Percival. you were gonna say that. But I also <laughs> love Leighton and Carlisle. I don't care how many people call me basic, but those three, they it's, smell it's for great. me, it's in between Haltane and Akister. I really, really, really mm. love Akister. It's a really gorgeous, very masculine uh, rose oud. Mm. I'm a sucker for rose ouds on men. You like rose ouds? Yeah. She's got the lip bite. She's like, rose oud? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just, just off, just off initials, but maybe we're gonna work our way around the circle again, but. This is for people that really like leather. Let me lean forward for this one. <laughs> Doing a lot of body rotation right now. Yeah, it's, it is a leathery scent, but it honestly kind of reminds me of like, you just, like, like that new car, like the back seat of a car. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think if you drive like a nice car and you wear this, it will totally work, but then like if I smell this, I'd be like, oh, like, did you just hop out your new car? You know, it's like, it's got that new car smell. That new Ben smell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do like that smell, but I don't really like it as a fragrance. You know what I mean? It's like the same way people like the smell of gasoline, but not as a fragrance. Unless you do, that's fine. I'm gonna give this like a six. So this is very, un like, this is something that I just recently discovered. It's called mm. Nolo by Alfred Ritchie, brand that I discovered when I was in Dubai recently. But it's nice, but you have to really like leather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were they wearing a lot of leathery fragrances in Dubai, like oh, oud it's, fragrances? It's, it's more oud, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I would assume. They don't play over there with their fragrances, I hear. Oh, no. No, yeah. it's like everywhere you go. The yeah. cores are burning. It's oud everywhere. It's almost as if I couldn't Talking even smell oud. anything after that last one. I feel like I'm smelling a test trip right <laughs> now. Traumatized. Yeah, this is very faint. I can smell it from here. <laughs> really? I still, like that, that other fragrance is still very much in my nose. Watch, okay. Let me do this. I find this very subtle. Like it, it's kind it it smells clean. Like it's good. She can't even give it a rating. Can't yeah, smell and, it. And you know what? It's zero. It's, 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 it's like it's still like I would give this like right now seven. Yeah. I I do think it's like I feel like this would be like a good sort of date fragrance, right? Like if you applied this on like your sweater or something, and then like you give it to the girl you're with, and then she's like smelling that. Like it's one of those things that I feel like would be better the more you smell it. Like it gets addicting kind of as you go. Off rip, it's like, it's it's okay. But then if you keep smelling it, you'd be like, okay, I'm rocking with it. But I'm gonna bump up my rating with 7.2, <laughs> 0 0.2. It's getting a little sweet. Yeah. Actually, yeah, hold on. Sweet. It's kind of getting a little baccarati. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of liking it more. My lips are sealed. Wait, is this, is this a Surshaw? Nope. I'm liking this more and more. Yeah, I agree with what I just said, which is like, <laughs> I, like that the more you smell this, the better it gets. I'm slapping, it's a knee slapper. <laughs> it's, it's a knee slapper. I'm gonna give this an eight because I'm already thinking in the future that this is like, this is like a sneaker. It definitely could be a sneaker. This is like sweet and also different. Like yeah, it, it yeah. wasn't that noticeable, but then as it's kind of gone on, I'm like, huh, that's good. This that's one good. is, Boss Bottled Oud. Is it? Yes. Hugo Boss? Yes. 
and it's Middle Eastern. Well, you can get it in Europe and things. It's, it's hard to find in America. You can get yeah. it on eBay, but just be careful. I got mine for 50 bucks, mm. so pretty good deal. That I liked. So now we are on number 10. We lost count a while ago, but there's only one left, so that means number 10. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's see if this is really the grand finale or not. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this video, and then I'm gonna like watch her reaction to everything. Like, <laughs> she's like, fuck. <laughs> I know that, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's Honestly, nice. the last one I just smelled, still in my mind. Like if you were wearing something like that, right? Yeah. And then like, the person you were talking to, like the person there, the, the next guy they were talking to smelled like this, I think they'd still be thinking about the last one. It's good, it's good, but it's like that, that other one is making me drop my rating on this one and I shouldn't, let me not be biased. I'm gonna give this, like on, on a guy, I would, I would give this maybe like a, maybe a 7.5. It's solid. I think that it's, it's, it's likable. I'm gonna drop the rating. <laughs> oh shit. Just going down. Maybe 7.3. Yeah, like it's 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 good, but it's not like amazing to me. And it's it's there. It's like it's a little bit more linear than the last one, yeah, where like it's sure. from the first sniff to now, it smells the same. Whereas the other one, you saw like my face just changing with like, oh shit, this is actually pretty good. But yeah. this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that one was Jean Paul Gaultier, Scandal, or the toilet. Yeah, Scandal. The thing is, I would you recommend scandal. Like scandal. a French person. Scandal. Scandal. Is Thank it scandal? Oh, de parfum. <laughs> like I would, I would recommend scandal for like if you're like a teen or in college and you're looking for yeah, a clubbing sweet, fragrance. Sweet, loud. Yeah, but I don't. It's not like the other designers. It's not that like I a man's man kind of scent. Like yeah, it, it to me, it's like it's giving like frat boy. You know what I mean? Like like frat boy like at the club. You know what I mean? Backwards hat trying to pull. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from it, but it's not like super attractive. It is what it is. Type of thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope clearly only one fragrance was your winner. Oh, what do clearly. you mean? Let me, let me re-smell it. Where is it? Where is it? I don't even it? know. I think it's gone. It's gone forever. It's in this the sea of test strips. Givenchy Pai. That had to be the winner, right? That was like, yeah. And Boss Bottled Oud, but you still gave that one a lower rating. I will say though, that thing, it's, that one left an impression. I know it was the second to last one. So basically but... forget every fragrance that we just showed and buy that <laughs> I do love the, the lesson well. of the whole video. Overspray that, overspray that thing. You are, you're gonna smell fantastic. Exactly. But yeah, I was a designer girl Yeah. Huh? in this video. <laughs> Even, and I, I still love niche scents, but for this video, the designer one's important. <laughs> It's all right, we can still be friends, yeah, I guess. We're friends. See, look how far apart we're sitting now. Yeah. In the beginning, like, we were like super like, close. Oh, buddy, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, leave, please. No. I know, no, I'm, I'm just trying I'm to get you out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Melissa. Yeah, thanks we for have, having me. Of course, of so course. Fun. We have to run, we're gonna go party at Send Explore, yeah. and we'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love that, that was so Cute. fun. Yeah.